Sometimes made of metal, it's sometimes painted gray, but it's almost always a pain to deal with. You guessed it, that's your filing cabinet. Personal organizer Andy Willis joins us this morning to show us how you can keep your important documents from being lost forever. Most people hate to file. In fact, I've never met anybody who really loves to file. So we always end up with a huge stack of papers. Today I'm going to share with you a few little tips to help you make filing at least more manageable. So the first tip is don't just let your papers build up on the desk or a tabletop, but have a basket or some sort of container that you can keep them in. And that way they're at least all contained and they're not spilling out all over your work surface. Uh, the next thing is to not give, make yourself have to do it for two hours because if you've let it build up for months and months, it's going to take a while. So take your phone, turn on a timer for say 10 minutes, and then let's file for 10 minutes. So we're going to take the papers and put them in, and then when the timer goes off, give yourself permission to walk away, go do something else, but then come back later and do it for another 10 minutes and another 10 minutes. And eventually that will all add up and all your filing will get done. One thing that makes it hard to file for a lot of people is that their files are jam-packed full of papers. And we usually keep papers that we don't need to keep. So find yourself a good paper retention guide online. And then as you're starting to file your papers, go through your folders and see what you can get rid of. Keep your shredder nearby so you can shred important um, documents that might have uh, personal information on them. And then finally, use your basket as a guide. If this gets full, it's time to file again. And then set a time on your calendar where you can file maybe once a week, once a month, just depending on how many papers you have go through your house or your office. And we can keep that filing stress down to a minimum. If you'd like more tips and tricks to help keep your life organized, you can visit Andy's website, www.goodlifeorganizing.net. And right after the break, we'll have more 41 today for you. Stick around.